Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Welcome to the 2015 Go Math Video Teacher Workshop Series. This is going to be a whole bunch of videos designed to help teachers prepare for their teacher certification exams. We're starting with number one on a California teacher certification exam. It's the CBEST Mathematics Elementary Practice Test. A great exam if you're a teacher not only in California but I think you could also use this one if you're a teacher in Massachusetts or Florida or New York to help you prepare for your teacher certification exam. So let's start. The first thing I want to do is I want to read over the question very carefully and uh, work through uh, identifying the key concepts and uh, solving it. So here we go. Number one. During a semester, a student receives scores of 76, 80, 83, 71, 80, and 78 on six tests. What is the student's average score for the six tests? And it gives us a whole bunch of options on that average. And when I read this over, this, this is very familiar. It's a very familiar type of average question. And they give you six data points. Uh, and that's very important that you start, you know, it has average right here. And when we think of average, you should be thinking about it's the sum of all the data points, whatever the data points are, the sum of these. So the data points, you the sum of those. Some of the data points divided by the number of data points in our set. Well, in this one right here, the sum would be um, these numbers added together, and I, my total number of data points is six. So let me reorganize that a little bit. Sometimes when I reorganize it, what I'm going to want to do is look at these data points, and I'm going to want to order them from least to greatest. This could be useful if we're trying to find out the range or the median or a percentile question. So it's a good habit to start practicing. Take these data points, these test scores, and put them in order from the smallest and then keep on, go uh, keep on going up to get to the largest. Now I keep on saying data points. Data po a data point is any value that has some sort of meaning. And when you look at a whole string of data points, like test scores, you can look at those and you can draw meaning by looking at some statistical uh, tools, analysis tools, like finding out the average or the mean, or finding out the midway point, or finding out the mode, like which was the most popular uh, question to, which was the most popular score to appear. So this is a very basic uh, data statistics question where we take these data, data points and we find the average, which is adding up all these together and dividing by the number of six, the number of times they appear. So at this point, I want you to, to do the adding on your own. And then, then I'm going to jump in. I'm going to jump in in one, two, three. I'm jumping in. OK, there's a bunch of ways to do this real quick. One way is to break break these up into ones and tens. And what I mean is I have three seventies here. Or I could say three times seven. Three times seven is twenty-one, but three times seventy is two hundred and ten, right? And three times eight, because there's three eighties here, three times eight is twenty-four, but three times eighty is two hundred and forty. And then I could add these up together. Two ten, two forty really quickly I get 450. Okay, what about the ones? Well, the ones you just have to do separately. So 1 plus 6 plus 8 plus 3. Right, the, six, the 1 and the 6 is 7. 7 plus the 3 plus the 8 gets you 18. So I get what? 468. Now, what did I just do? I did a strategy to add these numbers. Don't laugh at this. You may be a teacher that's good at this, and you may be a teacher that you know always makes a mistake in the, your addition. So go back, practice it, find a strategy that helps you get to 468. And now we're going to go about solving the problem. 
This is average, so we take the sum of all the data points. That would be the sum would be 468 divided by the number of data points, 6. I'm not going to chance it. I'm going to actually do out the work the long way. So let's see, I'll put 468 here divided by 6. How much does that go into? Uh, I'm going to do a method. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'll just do it the regular way, I guess. 6 goes into uh, 40, 46. It doesn't go into the 4, but it goes into the 46 7 times. 42. Okay, drop down the 4. These cancel out. Drop down the 8. 6 goes into 48. What? 8 times. You get an average of 78. Okay, great. There's a nice problem involving data analysis, statistics, and uh, finding the average of a set of numbers. Team, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Have a great day. Take care.